become obsessed with leeks over the really? last year, and right. I never had them growing up. I never cooked with them, and now I buy them pretty much every week. Hey, but these suck. Don't film them. <laughs> Basically, you don't ever want anything to look limp or lifeless or like it's been sitting there for four days. These are not what you want. We'll find better leeks. They look like an overgrown scallion, but they are not. They are a lot milder okay. than an onion. I put them in scrambled eggs a ton, in stir fries, in soups. There is leek soup. It's basically just a milder, sweeter, very slight onion flavor. All right. cut off the end and then you actually don't eat the top. You could use the tops for a stock or a broth that you're making like mm -hmm. to flavor it, but you're gonna eat them from like here down. So it looks like you're wasting a lot, but that's just, this is the main edible part. You could use this for a stock or broth or to flavor things, but you wouldn't necessarily. Super light and sweeter than other really strong onions. Doesn't honestly taste like a full on onion. I love just to saute it. Olive oil. And then just a little bit of butter because butter makes everything better. You're gonna cut off the very end and then you're gonna cut the top right before it starts to become an actual like plant. With these, you just wanna make sure you clean them well because they can have a lot of dirt in them. I usually will peel back one layer just to kind of get to the freshest layer. So you just look like this, and then literally just chop them into little slivers. You could probably roast these whole, and I bet you they would be really good, but you chop as many as you want. They just look like little tiny onions. We can add these to our saute pan over there. These cook very fast, so I usually peel them apart so that they're kind of little coils. More olive oil. So they're pretty much like almost already cooked. I like my onions a little bit crispy, so I cook them until they're a little bit brown. You would use it if you don't want as strong of an onion flavor, or if you just like the flavor of leeks. I just really like it, so I end up using it in a lot of my eggs and things like that. And use a wooden spoon so you don't scratch your pan. And then just let it sit for a few minutes. You always want to add more with each layer of food that you add. A little bit of goat cheese just because it makes it really creamy and good. We saw the onions, the leeks, goat cheese, one egg, scrambled, and I put scallions on top. And it's just so good. So if you've already only used half, so say you made yourself something and you still have some left over, you could throw it in the fridge in a Ziploc bag. I just started getting away from them because I hate plastic. This is a silicone reusable bag, which is amazing. So this is a leak I used half this morning for my egg scramble, which I've talked about 14 times. And now it goes in this bag and can stay for a little while longer. You don't want to keep it too long. You'll notice they'll start to dry out and they'll just lose their flavor and nutrition factor and all of that. 